is your turn. You gotta get more bold, man. Damien! I know! I can't. Okay, bold time. That day, you skip class and just hang out in the bathrooms because you respect no authority. You, it sounds but like you did. You don't stop already. there, huh? It sounds like you've done this a lot already. I know, right? <laughs> but you don't stop there. You want the world to know how reckless you are for the rest of eternity. So you do some graffiti on the wall. No way! <laughs> the graffiti says, I'm bold as fuck. And you know what? It turns out the wall is a magical wall that grants wishes. What a wall! A deep voice resounds from within the wall and says, Well, not bold as fuck, but maybe a bit bold. And then you gain two boldness. Oh boy, that's an opinionated wall. Anyway, lucky you. It's later... Or, blah, blah, blah. It's later when you're minding your own business and definitely not doing pictures of Damien in your notebook. <laughs> oh, it knows. <laughs> when you see Damien making his way over, <laughs> and at which point you definitely <laughs> do not need to hide your drawings. Yo, so here's the thing. You know how I. I think most people are pretty much 100% awful fuck doors. I actually think you're only 70% awful fuck door tops. That's less than In 100. fact, I I actually think you're kind of rad. <laughs> I've been meaning to get a new tattoo since nothing as rad as intentionally sticking needles into yourself to create permanent Oh wait, to create a permanent image on your skin. For fucking ever! And I thought maybe we can get matching tattoos. Oh my god, you want matching tattoos! <laughs> if you can come up with something rad for us. OMG, OMG, OMG! It's your chance to once and for all convince Damien how awesome you are. Don't fuck this up. I'm gonna fuck it up. <laughs> it's time to suggest the baddest raddest, maddest tattoo of all time, which is... <laughs> I see cucumber. Hell yeah. Fuck! Which one is Not... it? Well... well, remember, the stat check. What would a sea cucumber be a stat for? Yeah, man. Fun? Yeah, man. Sure. Sounds convincing enough, a am I right? A sea cucumber sounds like fun, and a on-fire pentagram made out of pentagrams, and sounds those like pentagrams it. are made out of guns. Which, and since Damien mm -hmm. is all I mean... I'm so scared, I don't really want to mess it up! It's a stat check. I think, <laughs> I think the pentagram is boldness? No. It would definitely be boldness. And then do the sea cucumber. Because it sounds just like Damien, and Damien's the definition of boldness. Yeah. Oh, then go that. Okay. Hey, I got your achievement. Yes, you did. Okay. Cool. True to yourself. Oh. My. Fuck. That's the most metal thing I ever heard. I made a good choice with you. Maybe the pentagrams are that are pentagrams could be made of pentagrams that are pentagrams. Fuck. And the fire can be sentient, and the pentagrams can hate their deadbeat uncle. And the guns end up on TV because they won't eat their vegetables. And maybe the pentagram, pentagram, pentagrams are also ex-convicts. These will be the raddest tattoos ever. Let's go get them right now and have them both on our bodies together forever. What? You're about to get badass matching tattoos with Damien. This is the raddest, coolest, dopest, most lit thing ever have happened. And now you'll be tied together for eternity. You gain the sickest tattoo of all time as well as two boldness and one charm. Ah, <gasps> the monster prom draws me. Oh, damn. All right, Joe. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, wait. Who will go? Oh. I did not see him at all. I Damn, is he gonna steal? 
I think just, you I think you only that. ever interacted with uh Polly. Yeah. I tried seeing him more. You tried mm -hmm. you did. But I chose wrong. I I didn't know it was like like a, choose one at the lunch and that's it. Or you could just say YOLO, go alone. Yeah, I I don't have anything cool now. And I think that matters, right? Uh, yeah, it does, actually, I'm pretty sure. Ask none of them? Yes, sir. Oh, damn. No heartbreak for you. Ah. Uh, I got money. Oh, yeah. So many interactions. This is how you win the game. Sure. My turn. Gotta go with money! G guess who I'm gonna vote for? Of course, it's Scott. Oh, Scott! Hell yeah! Aaron <laughs> Hansen. Did you know Oz's voice actor is a pedophile? Fun fact. That's why he's of not the best actor. I want to be. I, I wonder who you're gonna pick. <laughs> you ask no one to prom because you don't need oh, anyone to else. You going. don't need anyone else to make the most out of the night. Sometimes you feel like you have to get a, a date to be anyone. Sometimes you feel like you have to get a date to be anyone in this wicked world. But that's not true. You're your own person, and that's what the most important thing. Love is wonderful, sure, but you don't have prom. You have no hurry in finding it. Prom shouldn't be a deadline, but a night to remember. You do so. You have a wonderful night. Going alone prom doesn't mean being lonely. You have tons of fun with your classmates. You rock. Nothing is as sexy as being independent, strong, on your own, and most I'm ready to get life. disappointed. I'm ready for a refusal. Who knows? Maybe you actually might uh, date one or some of them. But today, you marry the night. You finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go on the monster prom with you. Prom together? I mean. I don't want nonsense to interfere with my skyrocketing career. But what's success if you can't enjoy yourself from time to time, right? And you're not that bad, I must admit. Okay, the settled. You will help me enjoy myself. Yay! Don't read too much into that. We can discuss the details later. See you there. Woohoo! Oh my gosh, it Prom night good. was great. Vera showed interest in your career goals and then she told you about hers. The passionate way she talked about it was equal parts scary and beautiful. So you used your best trick yet. You listened and you cared sincerely. Damn. <laughs> when the night was over, she kissed you goodbye on the cheek. The way she looked at you afterwards petrified you a bit. And you're sure that it wasn't her Gorgon powers. But the knowledge that a new adventure seems to be awaiting you. Refuse. No, I want to go. I want to be refused already. <laughs> oh, you finally pluck up your courage and ask your beloved to go to monster prom with you. Prom? Burning stuff and committing murder might be badass. But nothing is as badass as following your heart and believing un unapologetically in love. Let's do this. Let's live our lives with zero regrets. Prom, here we go. Oh my god, I really had to me. <laughs> Prom was great. You crashed your limo into the wall of the school, and it was the best entrance ever. Everyone, everybody had a great time dancing under the lovely light of the car on fire. I'm ready for my first refusal in this game. <sighs> what? Prom? Of course. Prom night will be another perfect opportunity to conduct our experiments in party science. So clever of you. Let's read the best science partner. And that's not what you meant, but sure, why not? Sooner than expected, prom night is here, and the two of you are finally ready to crack the ultimate party formula. You free some wild animals, you do lots of ecstasy, you awaken the dead, you even do the dance of joy. Everything is perfect. You feel floaty and full of energy. You see beautiful shiny lights. You feel connected to everyone. Obviously, most of that is thanks to the ecstasy, but still. 
You feel like you've conquered the night and put a flag with your names on the peak of life itself. Then dawn comes. By now you're on a hill by the sea, watching the sun slowly coming up. No idea how you got there, but who cares? You're at peace, watching the gentle tide of the morning. When you realize, Polly's had her hand over yours. She looks at you. You know what, Sin? This might be the Molly talking, but I think I finally got it. All these parties have been wildly different, yet all of them have been the very best. Put a lot of thought into it, you can only think of one thing they all had in common. I think the formula to a perfect party must be sharing it with the right people. You don't answer. You just hold her hand as you spend the morning watching the sun slowly coming up over the sea together. Cool, yeah. I'm most likely to die in a fire and be awesome while doing it. Polly's cool. One less <laughs> piece of unfinished business, suckers. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Well, we got a secret Woo! enemy. Yay! I am so helpful for getting you achievements. Wait, <laughs> hold on. Wait, that. What did you do? <laughs> I you got, got, you got a secret, secret ending. ending. <laughs> huh? Yeah. <laughs> Me and Mari have gotten a secret ending before we unlocked uh, Zoe one Ooh. time. You know, a uh, purple tentacle girl? Yeah. We unlocked her. You, was that even getting a DLC? Yeah. Well, no, you have to unlock her, but she wasn't actually dateable until the DLC. Uh... Like, you couldn't talk to her until the DLC. Right. Wow, that well, was... Well, you have to a... unlock her first anyways. That was an interesting game. Yeah. We all... Did what we wanted, I guess. Question mark. I got money. You got money. <laughs> hey, even though you're alone, you are rich. Yeah, mm -hmm. he's alone and rich. I love that all these plebeians except for Vera. He can buy his next date. <laughs> you could have totally went or tried at uh, one of the rich people, which was I think. I, uh, I think Vera is the only one that really cares about money. Does isn't the uh, murder girl? The mermaid one she rich might, as well? She might be she might be uh creativity now that I think about it. I only I only have one creativity. Oh. Yeah, not that very Or maybe she's charm. I don't know, man. Well, we just witnessed a lottery ticket ruin a man's career. <laughs> <laughs> but give him tons of money. No, it made my career. What are you it talking made about? His career, but killed his dating. Yeah. Those two weeks were maybe the most epic and absurd weeks of your lives. Maybe the monster prom, we kept on living our lives, falling in love, battling for friendship, and learning about who we were and who we could be. And you know what? Like it always does, life happened, and it was wonderful. Polly's drug cooking skills proved useful, and she became a chemist for the pharmaceutical industry. But in her free time, she still cooks the real shit. Her greatest inventions so far are watermelon flavored ecstasy <laughs> and a thing called oh, LS Dope. I, I guess I could be reading this for you. Go, <clears throat> go for it. Damien loved fire to the very end. Unfortunately, that wasn't a super legal affair, and he ended up in prison for arson. Fortunately, Prison was flammable. Yay! <laughs> Vera built the Oberlin Empire into endless greatness. They own a shameless number of companies. It's known that they're also into lots of sketchy businesses. But no one does anything about it. I mean, who the hell would try to stop Vera Oberlin? For those two weeks, the monster proms seemed larger than life. And then it was gone, just like that. The battle for monster prom might have ended then. But there were plenty of battles left in that war called youth. But once again, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. 